I've brought again my so-called suitcase lab with me to give you a short demonstration for the application which I have developed. First of all, a little setup. Here is a linear axis which is uh, driven by a servo motor. The servo motor is commanded via ISACAT from the control X core. Additionally, on the control X core, directly on the USB slot is connected an USB camera which takes continuously pictures of the scene. So now the use case or the task is imagine you have a serious production it's a conveyor belt or a pick and place and you have different objects or different work pieces and you want to monitor and or observe for different objects and take different actions. So I've brought two different objects with me here a frog sitting on the linear axis riding it that's object one and if every time this object here is on the linear axis there shall be done a different action and this shall be detected by this USB webcam so to manage this to um, get this task solved we switch to our control X core you see it here on the screen and here is already installed the so-called application AICV and uh, just back by the way here this demonstration movement is done by this graphical programming here and I will start this AICV application and the first step for solving this task is that we need to train uh, a model, a neural network, a convolutional neural network and therefore because this is an industrial automation cell, it's down the shop floor or maybe it's another uh, site and we cannot reach it and also the training is a, is a one-time thing mostly and the deploying to different cells um, can be scaled or can be done remotely. So therefore um, I've created also an application um, to train a model within the browser. Therefore you need to take some pictures. So I will take some pictures for the first object, move it a little bit around to make some noise second object and also um, the background so just train this with some other images of course I know that's not a very high sophisticated to uh, detect these two different objects but the approach shall be clear. So now I click here um, that the training shall be done. It's a transfer learning just replacing the last output layer, the weights and then after the training finished um, the model shall be deployed and converted for an embedded inference or in an X models or TensorFlow light. So I will start this on the back end and because this will take some seconds in the time between we just um, modify our um, model here to um, apply two different actions. So I will just create here so this is the probability you shall be sure that you have that the algorithm has detected the right object and this the different action I just will increase the speed and the acceleration for the second object because the second object has a suction cup so it will 
or it hopefully it can go faster without falling down so I don't will, will not start it yet going back here on the back end on the phone now the conversion is done it's uh, provided on the model repository with this uh, model ID so I will now give the application here the model ID and so now the application running here on the core contacts the model repository and downloads the model to the local inference um, I will just set back here the warnings so now it's the green light again so we have I will replace here with the correct credentials and then I will start the inference so then we can start here and now it shall move slowly oh that's not correct I've made a mistake. That's the reason why it was not working. You see here, logical mistake, or it shall be and. So the probability shall be above 70% and the object shall be the object 1 or the class 1, which is the object 2, and then it shall be. So now it shall work. You see in the screen object one. Object two. So yeah, I there was an option to save uh, time, but I didn't have seen here this uh, mistake in the logical, in the logic. So now it object two, object one. So stop now. Object one driving slow. So maybe see what's happened if we put two objects. I'm not sure. So maybe we put it here. <laughs> okay. Object 2 win and writes the linear axis. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a bull riding. Okay, that's it. Just want to demonstrate this for applied machine learning. Simple image classification training neural network, deploy it to a local inference and use it in an automation environment um, with just a minimal invest needed for the setup because we just use this USB webcam. See you!